Welcome back to Headlines. I'm Wes Austin, and these are today's top stories. The Department of Justice has accused Russia of interfering in the 2024 presidential election through a campaign called Doppelganger. Coincidentally, the DOJ announced this on the same day that Amazon Alexa was caught red-handed campaigning for Kamala Harris. I did a story on that yesterday, in case you want to check it out. The scheme allegedly involved the Russian companies using influencers and social media to spread propaganda and sway American voters. You know, like what the Biden-Harris administration does. The operation had a budget of $10 million and appears to have had limited impact, with one X account having only seven followers. Seven followers? Even I have more than that on X. Imagine being one of these seven people fooled by Russia's interference campaign. They probably still believe those emails from the Nigerian prince are legit. Russia's $10 million doppelganger campaign flopped so hard, it's now competing with Disney's The Acolyte for the title of Biggest Waste of Money of 2024. The Donald Trump-Kamala Harris debate is back on after Kamala agreed to the muted mic rule. Kamala Harris's campaign initially pushed for both candidates' microphones to remain unmuted during the debate on September 10th but they've now dropped their request. According to the debate rules, only the candidate whose turn it is to speak will have their microphone live, while the others will be muted. The Harris team had expressed concern that muting microphones would benefit Trump. So in other words, they thought Kamala's best strategy was to let Trump talk and for her to say as little as possible. Of course Kamala wants Trump to talk more. Every time she opens her mouth, even her staff starts Googling Canada citizenship. Or it could be that Kamala's team really wants open mic so that she could use her famous line, I'm speaking. But let's be real, Trump would just respond with, and no one's listening. Russian President Vladimir Putin appeared to endorse Kamala Harris for president. If we can name a favorite candidate, uh, it used to be Joe Biden, but now he's not participating in the election campaign, and he recommended to all his allies to um, support uh, Ms. Harris. So that is what we are going to do. Now, the Department of Justice is saying that Russia is trying to interfere in our elections again. So considering Putin's statement, I guess that means that Kamala should start prepping for a two-year investigation into her Kremlin connections, you know, for consistency. The Biden-Harris administration issued a firm response to Russia. Hey, if anybody's going to interfere in our elections, it's going to be us. Judge Juan Merchan is being sued for refusing to release his financial disclosures, which judges are required to do under New York law. Merchin is the judge that presided over former President Trump's trial and somehow kept a straight face while reading the 34 counts of falsifying business records. Judge Merchin doesn't want to release his financial disclosures because then he'd have to explain why his judicial robe comes with paid for by the Democrats embroidered on the back. Merchin's daughter is the president of Authentic Campaigns, a company that has done work for President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. It's comforting to know that Merchant's family gets paid to help Kamala Harris stay slightly more popular than foot fungus. The lawsuit claims that Merchant has a conflict of interest in the case because of his daughter's work and also because of his own donations to Democratic causes, including President Biden's campaign and a group called Stop Republicans. Just because Merchant gives money to a group called Stop Republicans doesn't mean he's biased. It just means he hates Republicans. Former Representative Liz Cheney revealed in an event at Duke University's Sanford School of Public Policy that she'll be voting for Kamala Harris for president. And because of the danger that, that Donald Trump poses, uh, not only am I not voting for Donald Trump, but I will be voting for Kamala Harris. Liz Cheney's voting for Kamala? What? She's voting for Kamala because Trump's dangerous. Okay, but remember when a Cheney told us Iraq was dangerous? And that worked out just great. War for 10 years and we still never found those WMDs they promised. If you want to listen to a Cheney, that's up to you. But you're probably going to end up lost in the woods with birdshot in your face. Thanks for watching Headlines. I'm Wes Austin. Good night.